Amazing. Never, I haven't had a problem in like two years. And I'm telling I you. Think, you know, How would you know to do that? Junk food. I got rid of most of the junk food. It was, but just by coincidence, I just said, I got to start eating better. You're smart, man. Good job. That's how simple it is. That's how easy it is. No doctors. When we figure this thing out, Ray, there's going to be a lot of unemployed specialists. There's going to be a lot of allergists who have to deliver pizzas or do drywall or, like, do something productive in the culture. <laughs> right? That's what's yeah. going to happen once we nail this. You're not even going to need me. There's not going to need pharmacist Ben anymore. All right, go I, ahead. I went, I went to the, as far as to sit in the doctor's office, and I was going to go to the route to take. Um, and start taking the shots, okay, right. allergy shots. And okay. I'm reading all about these shots and how long it would take. And I, after it 10 minutes of sitting there, I just said, this There's got to be a better way, right? Yeah, so I walked out. But anyways, that's not why I'm calling. Okay. But I just thought I'd add that to you. Uh, I have a friend. He's been diagnosed with, I believe it's called Chargo Marie Tooth. Okay, and, got and, it. It's, it's, it's like um, a nerve disease. I looked it up the other day. Uh, it was... Uh, 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 I presume it's uh, these French doctors, Chargot, Marie, and Tooth, discovered right. this. And it's some, type of deli- uh, it's some type of disease that affects, I believe, is it the nervous system? It's a nerve disease. It's a neuromuscular disease. we got so many of these right. neuromuscular diseases, but they're all the same thing. Nobody, I know, and it I, I try to tell this to my friend, you know. Uh, it's, well, to he doesn't want to listen. I it's, well, I figured at, at the very least he would listen to the replay. He didn't want to call you, so. Okay. Um, well, if he's, maybe he's listening now, or maybe he's listening to the replay. What's his name? What's your friend's name? First name. Uh, his name is Richard. All right, Richard, if you're listening, it, listen. Charcot Marie Tooth is a neuromuscular disease. It affects the nerves and the muscles and where, they're in, where, they're, where they interact. In this way, it's no different from polio or any other neuromuscular disease. It doesn't matter what the name is, you guys. It doesn't matter where in the body it shows up. It's an inflammatory diseases of the nerves and the muscles, period. And they'll tell you one in 125, or one in, I think it's one in 2,500 people have it, uh, whatever. They can call it by different names. They can call it uh, myasthenia gravis, or if they want to call it, my, whatever they call it doesn't matter. The fact is that behind all neuromuscular diseases, you will find inflammation. You will find attack. You will find defense. It's the same as Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is Charcot-Marie Tooth disease of the brain. Or Charcot-Marie Tooth disease is Alzheimer's disease of the nerves. It's the same thing. This is the fundamental idea that we talk about every day on this program. It's the same thing. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says, it's the same thing. Our diseases are all the same thing. They're inflammation and attack and dirty blood that comes in from the digestive system and comes in from sugar and dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and a stressed out or activated sympathetic nervous system, largely because of a lack of oxygen. So for your friend, step number one, correct digestive health issues. Do a food diary, food elimination. He'll notice results when he fasts. Get on the probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, and the Ultimate Enzymes. Take the Ultimate Enzymes on an empty stomach. Do a Swear OV cleanse. Use the probiotic enriched cheese. Make sure he's stabilizing his blood sugar by using the sweeties after meals, reducing his intake of foods that spike his blood sugar, and then using chromium and vanadium and selenium and magnesium and taurine and arginine. These are all great nutrients. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. If you don't want to brain damage the individual nutrients, get on the Healthy Start Pack. And then relax the body. His symptoms will start to subside when he gets in a hot bath, when he takes a hot shower. He'll notice his his symptoms subside. What, is there magic in the hot shower? No. You're activating the relaxation nervous system. This is really how simple it is, you guys. And then, of course, uh, doing all the things he can do to build the, the body, make the body stronger, make the muscles stronger, will improve health. That means resistance training. You don't, need a, you don't need a full-blown gym membership. You can get a big old rubber band and tie it to your couch or, or tie it to a, sh- a shelf somewhere and then do resistance training with a rubber band. You could get gallon jugs of, uh, uh, you could fill gallon jugs with water and do curls with gallon jugs. You can put a gallon jug of water in a backpack and walk up and down the stairs, walk up, down, up two stairs, even without a gallon jug of water, just walk up and down a couple stairs. Get on a rebounder. It's another important health strategy. Move the lymphatic system. The yeah, lymph- he's, he's losing, uh, he can't walk, you know, even, walk. he's in, probably in his early 60s, he can't even walk on a, a slight incline, his, 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 he, his nerves are just shot can, in his lower Well, nerve. then he's degenerated pretty good. Then he's got to start yeah. off, then he's got to do all the things I'm saying immediately. Yeah, uh, here's another couple things, a couple of emergencies. He was a specialist me, in 
uh, forget the specialists. Sector. They're useless. Yeah. Let me tell you a couple quick things because I'm going to run out of time, Ray. For okay. all neuromuscular health issues, especially if you're older, vitamin B12 injections, intramuscular deficiencies in B12 are somewhat common, or pretty common actually. And uh, B12 is a major, major, major player in neuromuscular and neurological health. Also, intravenous glutathione can help. Now, these are for emergencies, and it sounds like he may be, he may be degenerating to the point where this, he needs this kind of stuff. So intravenous does, glutathione, yeah. intraven or intramuscular vitamin B12, that would be two things that I would do. In addition to the healthy star pack, in addition to the, the um, uh, working on the digestive system, in addition to the blood sugar system. I guarantee you, Ray, he's got more problems than just Chargo Marie Tooth. He's probably got dysglycemia, he's probably pre-diabetic, he's probably got hypertension, etc. So work on the whole body, the body will take care of the neuromuscular disease. I'm going to let you go, Ray. i got a couple more calls I want to get to. Okay, okay, Ben, thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you, bro. God bless you, man. All right, David in Texas, what's up? How you doing? Doing great. How are you? Doing good. How can we help? Cool. Well, I just kind of wanted to get your opinion on um, a study that came out uh, yesterday, actually, Okay. Uh, regarding calcium in older people. Uh, okay. What is that? Um, it's on NBCNews.com right now if you want to check it out. But it says okay. a new study that. shows that the final nail in the coffin for any lingering belief that calcium supplements are good for you. Well, um, that's, uh, it, that sounds like a misunderstanding. Calcium supplements are tricky. They're, they're definitely tricky because calcium is one of those, uh, like a lot of nutrients, it requires the appropriate balance of other, of other substances, including vitamin D and especially vitamin D and also magnesium. Also, calcium, as we've talked about many times on this program, most of the calcium is in your bones, but calcium, a small percentage, 1% or 2% of calcium is in the blood, and it acts as a major, major signaling molecule. When cells die, calcium will start to leak out. When the body becomes acidic from toxicity, from sugar, from lack of oxygen, calcium will start to leak out. So uh, when the digestive system is messed up, calcium won't get absorbed because you need bile for calcium. So just taking calcium supplements isn't going to help you with your calcium necessarily. If you've got a thyroid problem, if you've got a parathyroid problem, which most people do, if you have a digestive problem, which most people do, if your cells are dying off because of lack of nutrients or toxicity, which is happening to a lot of us, you're not going to be able to get the benefits of calcium and it can start to build up. Up. And because it's such an important signaling molecule, you can throw off biochemistry and you can throw off cell chemistry with just taking calcium supplements. So it's not like they're not helpful. It's like you've got to take them in conjunction with an entire nutritional supplement program and really health program in general. I wish I had more time, but that's uh, we're just out of time. So if you want to call back tomorrow, we can talk some more about calcium. And if I left you on hold, I apologize for that. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. And also, Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, and check out our retinol 5% shop. All right, have a wonderful, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.